Hey, it's Timmy O'Neill. In fact, my name is Timmy Ho. My name is Timmy, and we are here at Live Moar Summer Market 2014. We are with our friends from Nepal and our friends from Sherpa Adventure Gear. So with us, we have Norbu Tenzing Norgay, also Tashi Sherpa, and Lakpa Rita Sherpa. Welcome, fellows. How are you? Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very well. Thank Deri you. Deri Deri Ramro. <laughs> Namaste. Ekdom Ramro. Namaste. Yeah. Namaste right here and interview you guys. Okay. So Lakpa Rita, uh, you've climbed Everest, is it 17 times? Yeah, 17 and, times. And when was the first year that you climbed Mount Everest? 1990. In 1990. And with the, the commercial traffic on Mount Everest, <coughs> of course, this year there was a huge tragedy with 16 Sherpas losing their life in the Kumbu ice fall with an avalanche. So how do you feel this is going to change the future of guiding and the future of the mountain? What happened uh, this past few years, I believe, like Pete Athens said, was a referendum on, on risk. And I'd also like to say inequity because uh, we Sherpas are bearing an inordinate amount of the risk and very little of the reward. Um, just like with many businesses, I think you need to work with people who are ethical, people who take care of the people. So, do, do you see it maybe that they're going to possibly limit the number of people that could be going on Everest and then charge a, a higher price, something like that? Or No, I don't think there's so much of a limitation. Um, people have proposed that less people should climb Everest, and I think bottom line, um, Sherpas need to get organized, Sherpas need a voice, and I think with uh, this recent tragedy on Everest, things will change. Not very fast, but uh, you know, over time, uh, we hope it does. So. so with Sherpa Adventure Gear, you guys are here at Outdoor Retailer. This is a giant show, there's so much going on. What does it feel like to be here and be a part of, of Outdoor Retailer? It feels great, because I've been here, I think now for the past eight years, that there have been a lot of people along the journey who've helped us. So what we do today is not just for ourselves, it's for a lot of people in Nepal. Yeah, it's really cool to create such a, a proud brand and, and to have it have this international success. Uh, where do you see the brand going? Because now you say you've taken more of a, of a outsider role in a way or, or to be the, you know, the, the individual who's looking at it still from where the brand is going to be essentially. Where do I see this brand going? I think basically, I think it is all about helping people to learn to be proud of themselves, to create equal clusters, to create employment, uh, to help people to be proud of what they're doing. So uh, currently we employ more than about 1,800 people there wow. and we feel that responsibility every day. Uh, we've got about 25 children that we educate from uh, kindergarten to college and our goal is to increase them every year by five children. So we have a lot of responsibility on us. Fantastic, it seems like a, a great way to give back to the community and to inspire others to be entrepreneurial, to believe in dreams and to work hard to achieve them. So Norbu, as far as the, the message to say the outdoor industry on Mount Everest, if, if you could summarize you know, what, what it would be to continue to have this relationship between the Sherpa people and all of those clients out there and the Western guides who want to continue to get to the world's highest peak. I think people should continue to pursue their dreams, climb Everest, you know, climb these, the, uh, the other mountains, but just do so responsibly. You know, Everest is a massive cash cow, uh, not just for the Nepali government, but for the outdoor industry. And all we are asking for is a little more equitable share uh, of the pie. And that's not impossible. So. Because Everest is, is a story, you mentioned it's not only for the government of Nepal and the individuals who are working on the mountain, but it's a story that's told constantly. Absolutely. Right, so Norbo, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. Tashi, Touch thanks yourself. so much. Thank you, thank you very much. Barita, thank you I wish much. you the best of luck on number 18. <laughs> this is Timmy O'Neill signing off with our friends from Nepal, live from OR. Yeah. <laughs>